shoes. Foods that are difficult for the agent to shoe. To make them easier to shoe without sacrificing their nutritional value. If they don't eat uh, the nutrients they need, they will be deficient. And it will show on their body. In order now to deprive them of getting good nutritional value, you must uh, sacrifice variety in preparation of food for them. There is a disease called osteoporosis. It's another problem of the aged. Exercise and a diet high in calcium can help to protect against osteoporosis. Problem in their, in their bones, they cannot walk well. Some of them depend like this. Some of them, they cannot move their leg properly. Give them a diet high in calcium to protect against osteoporosis. Current treatments also, when they go to the doctor, they can give them estrogen. They can ask them to be doing exercise. They can ask them to be taking calcium supplements in order to develop their bones and to relieve them of pains in their joints because of age. Specific nutrient needs for the aged. The challenge of the elderly is to meet the same nutrient need as when they were younger, yet consume fewer, uh, fewer calories. You know when they are younger, they can take beef, and when they are old now, they will be struggling with that beef. They don't want to believe that they can't take it. They will be struggling. Let me eat it. Let me do this. But, as I've told you earlier, instead of giving them beef, you can give them fish. It's the same protein. Or you can grate or chop the meat for them so that they can consume it easily. To solve this problem, you have to choose foods high in nutrients in relation to their calories. Protein absorption may decrease as people age or as we age and our bodies may need less protein. I've told you earlier on, limit protein when you are getting old. You don't need it uh, as you need it when you are younger. Like a family who always buy a, a, a crate of egg at home, maybe within two weeks or a week, you want the family to enjoy it. The parents should eat less than the children. Let the children consume these uh, eggs for their protein. Let the adults eat less because they don't really need this protein as the children need it. Excess protein could unnecessarily stress kidneys. That's a problem. If you are an adult, you have been cancelled to, to, to reduce your protein intake, and you still eat, you don't want to listen. You are still eating a lot of protein. You are stressing your kidney. Kidney problem can arise. You have to check out. Reduce overall fat in the diet, so reduce the risk of chronic disease like hypertension, like uh, uh, if you don't say hypertension, you say high blood pressure. There are a lot of diseases associated with the heart, heart problem. If you, if you don't check it, you reduce your fat intake. 
eat adequate fiber. You know, I've been talking about uh, fruits and vegetables. You get fiber from them to have the normal bowel function. That your bowel will function normally. Vegetables, fruits, grains, cereals, seeds, legumes, and nuts are all sources of dietary fiber. So include them in your diet. Give the elderly calcium. Give them iron. And include, uh, include vitamin C to improve absorption of iron. Iron and vitamin C, they work together. If you give them iron, you don't include vitamin C to, your, to their diet, it won't improve the absorption of iron. Vitamin C will improve the absorption of iron in the body of the agent. Water. Generally, water is a nutrient, receives little attention once a person is old. It will, that person will not have interest in drinking water again. So you know, it's just water. I'm tired of water. But you need water to perform different functions in your body. I told about the iron that you need about two liters of water daily for digestion, to make your bowel uh, move freely, to lubricate the joints, and so on. However, of all the nutrients, water is the most important, serving many essential functions in your body that you don't know, that you are ignorant of. Adequate fluid intake reduces stress on kidney. I've mentioned that before. So let your kidney function well. Don't give yourself problem. <coughs> if you don't uh, drink water regularly, you may have kidney problem. And also, it will help you to digest your food easily and will remove problem of constipation. Variety is often lacking in the diets of the aged because they will want to be eating the same food they like all the time. If an aged lies pounded the yam, that is what she will be asking for all the time. No room for variety. There should be room for variety in the food giving to the aged. Don't allow them to eat the same food over and over again. Now it is suggested that the elderly should plan meals from every group of food to avoid deficiency of some nutrients. I mentioned the nutrients earlier on that all these nutrients they are very important and when they combine it together in the right proportion they have the balanced diet they need to make them live healthy. <laughs>